All right, guys, today in Man Cave Tools, we're going to do a versus video between the Ryobi HP Hammer Drill versus the Bosch Hammer Drill. So let's just flat out get to the specs and get to it. All right, so the Bosch with a four amp hour battery weighs. We're gonna add the handle to that. Five pounds and 4.9 ounces. Battery is full on the Bosch. The Ryobi with a three amp hour battery with 21700 cells weighs. Five pounds and 2.4 ounces. And the battery is full on the Ryobi. All right, for the first test, we're gonna test out the hammer feature. Make sure the hammer feature works. <coughs> yes, it does. That seems a little loud. Let's do it right here. Oh, it stopped. Pull it again. Time. Ryobi is next, it's on speed two, it's on hammer. Make sure the hammer feature works. <coughs> yes, it does. Now, I am gonna say this, the Ryobi, on, on the new HP stuff, the Ryobi hammer feature is actually fantastic. It can go like about a quarter inch more. Time, sorry, but. And so I did charge the batteries back up after I did the concrete. So we're gonna do a one and a quarter inch speed bore and a one and a half inch speed bore. Four amp hour battery, battery is full again. We are gonna try to see if it can do it on speed two. And if not, we're gonna go to switch over to speed one. And we're gonna do the same thing with uh, Ryobi. It's in drill, so the clutch does not matter for those of you who do not know. It's on drill, speed two. Let's see if this can do it on speed two. Nope, speed one is required. We're gonna use that hole to test out the Ryobis as well. Time. All right, Ryobi is next. It is on drill speed two. Battery is full again. Let's see, probably won't. Nope, requires speed one. So let's do it right here. Hi. All right, so we already know that it can't do it on speed, the other one on speed two, but this is a one and a half inch speed bore. All right, it's on speed one, it's on drill. This is a much bigger speed bore. Let's see if it can do it. Time. And these are self-driving speed, uh, these are self-driving uh, bits, so I don't put any pressure, I let the tool do the work. I just hang on. It's like, why put the effort in when I don't need to? Not bad though, Bosh, not bad. A one and a half inch speed bore on speed one non-stop, that's actually extremely good. All right, so let's do Ryobi. I do love the design of this too. It actually is a cool looking drill. <laughs> Pop. 
powerful. See, one and a half inch speed bore does it with ease on speed one. It is a darn good drill. I want my phone. I want to do a TikTok of that. All right, so we're just going to drive in a uh, eight inch timber lock, then switch over to some legs. Let's see what the real power of these actually have. It is on speed two. This is on drill. Oh, that's a disappointment. All right, we're actually going to leave that like that. On speed two, it's on drill. This is a tough log. I love this log. All right, so the Bosch was able to drive it in a little bit more, but they both failed. But they both failed to do it. Switch to speed one and then drive this back in again. Much easier time. Time. Yeah, like I said, these might not be the most powerful hammer drills out there. You know, Bosch is up there with, you know, Cobalt and Ryobi and Craftsman. But the fact that it still could drive these in, even on speed one, is still amazing. Drive it back in on speed one. Time. Let's take this out for Bosch on speed one. Uh, let's take this out on speed one for Ryobi. Time. Not too shabby, you guys. Not too shabby at all. All right, let, let's switch logs. All righty, so we're going to do two four-inch lags and two six-inch lags. Let's see how well the Ryobi and Bosch actually do this. Time. Not too shabby. It's on speed one. It's on uh, drill. Neither of these can do it on speed two, guarantee you that. No, no drill can do it on speed two, actually. This is a tiny bit more. Yep. Good. All right, so let's take out the Bosch's. No problem. And let's take out the Ryobis. No problem. One hand. All right, and just because, let's see if either of these could attempt to do a uh, six-inch lag. I, I hope it can do it. I want it to do it. Come on. You can do it. Ooh, it did it. Oh, it didn't stop itself. I stopped pulling the trigger. I thought it did it. Time. It did it. Good job on Bosch for that. Like, this is not an easy task. All right, so next let's do the Ryobi. Here should be good. I hope it can do it too. It would be awesome if it can. Come on, do it. Oh, uh, the Ryobi kicked out. So let's see if the Bosch could finish that. Let's see if the Bosch could finish it. A little bit more. Let's uh, see. One, one more pull. Yeah, about an eighth of an inch left. No, it's on the it's on the uh, the bottom over here. It's just at a slight angle, but. Bosch was able to finish it. All right, so let's take out Bosch's. Time. My dog. All right, and let's see if Ryobi could uh, take its out. 
Yes, it can. Not too shabby. Time. Not too shabby at all. Yeah, the Ryobi was not able to drive that in all the way, but it was able to take it out. Not too shabby. All right, so as you can see, and remember, we used a 4 amp hour battery on the Bosch and a 3 amp hour battery on the Ryobi, but this 3 amp hour battery has 21700 cells and it actually does majorly help your tools perform better. Ryobi needs to make more batteries like this in higher amp hours. Are these the fastest, most powerful hammer drills on the market? They are absolutely not. So, but they do have power, you know? So like, just because of like these aren't powerful like other brands doesn't mean that these are garbage. These are actually pretty darn good tools. And I do love the way that this Ryobi is designed. So that's pretty much it, you guys. I just wanted to do this versus video and see on how, on how well these actually perform against each other. That's pretty much it, you guys. I hope you found this video helpful and entertaining. Please like this video. Please hit the bell button to be notified of future videos and please subscribe to the channel. This is David Nicholas. Thank you for tuning in. I'll see you guys next time.